Our environment is like a well-oiled machine, and when one part breaks down, the whole system struggles to work. Yeah, in southwest Florida, clear waters are the lifeblood of the community, and when the waters get polluted, both wildlife and businesses suffer, and now business leaders are learning how to protect the water that draws visitors and supports the economy. Wink News anchor Claire Galt explains how they're stepping in and stepping up to action to protect what matters most. These Southwest Florida business leaders traded dress shoes for water shoes. Climbed down this ladder and got knee deep off Sanibel to take a look at a healthy oyster reef. Filtering each oyster in the lab, 50 gallons of water uh, per day. The men and women are learning more about water quality through a program dedicated to preserving the paradise we call home. Captains for Clean Water, the Sanibel Captiva Conservation Foundation, the Everglades Foundation, and the Sanibel Chamber of Commerce joined forces. To give a truly immersive experience into the water quality issues from the science side, the policy side, the advocacy side. And talk about the environment in a way that, that, that makes sense, not only for um, the stewardship of our environment, but also for the prosperity of their business. Those business owners told me this is why people visit Southwest Florida. The weather, the sunshine, all of this beautiful water. And they told me they know firsthand that when things go awry, people stay away. The 2018 water crisis is burned into Joe Orndorff's memory. He's the president of the Island Inn on Sanibel and told me the guests stopped coming. Dead fish half a foot deep on your beach, the smell, that experience was probably as bad as it gets. I mean, even COVID where you shut down for a month or two, it wasn't near as bad as that 2018 red tide experience. Orndorff told me he cannot afford another setback, so he joined Preserving Paradise. John Lai with the Chamber told me the goal is for all the business leaders to take what they learn and pass it along in the hopes that everyone will realize good water means good business. Claire Galt, Wink News.